Hey, what's up guys? Bright 2 j back, and today's review is going to be on the SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange from Avengers Infinity War. Uh, from what I'm told, this is the Japanese release. I'm not sure when the next release will be out. I picked this guy up at Image Anime in New York City, and I have to say, I am super glad I got talked into buying them. Um, I almost left Image Anime without them uh, selling me this product, and then due to my friends in that store saying, it's the last one, it's the last one, I just went in and bought it. So with that being said, let's take a good look at Dr. Stephen Strange. So before I get into the figure itself, let me get into the accessories he comes with. As you see on both the top right and top left, you have two of the same magic spell, followed by the uh, green spell. Um, I forget names off the top of my head. Uh, he comes with a default face, and he comes with ten interchangeable hands. Uh, I put the default fists in there for the time being because I do have the uh, alternate set of magic hands on the figure right now. Uh, and he does come with these two clips that are down at the bottom here. Uh, that is for the portal. And now let me show you the portal. This is the portal. I think it looks really good. Uh, both the magic spells and the portal I thought were damaged at first. I did not realize they have this plastic film that is on there. And uh, we'll just peel that off right now. So as you see, there's like that, you know, plastic film on there to protect the piece from not getting scratched inside the box. So yeah, and mine has a little bit of cat hair on there anyway, but thank God this is the plastic film and not the piece. Anyway, so that's the accessories. Now let's talk about the figure. And here's Doctor Strange, and I have to say, so far so good. I picked this figure up a week ago, so I had a week to play uh, in between my hectic work week. And I have to say, I'm really liking it. I think it looks a lot like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, just really a solid piece. The only gripe I have with the figure is the cape. We got a beautiful cloth cape with Batman. I mean, granted the wires are a little thick, but, you know, it was a great, uh, you know, addition to a figure art. However... Quite a bummer, we did not get a fabric cape with Doctor Strange. I don't hate this plastic cape as much as I do on other figures. You know, like Thor, I think it's too annoying, and the uh, Injustice Superman is also really annoying. But it's kind of nice on Doctor Strange, because it's not a lot to work with. I just really wish it was cloth. I might have to pick up one of the ones from uh, CJ. So, uh, yeah. Uh, detailed, you know, it is detailed. There is a a lot of work going on on the uh, top of the cape. Let me try to get a better focus in for you guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. So there is a lot of detailing on the top of the cape here. I do like that the collar part is a softer material, so it doesn't, you know, get in the way of, like, having him, you know, pose his head around and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, the back of the cape also has some detail work. You do get the uh, the lines in the cape. And it's hard to see, um, but there is a pattern on the side. You know. As for the figure, again, as I said, it looks a lot like a lot like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, it's a lighter blue than the Doctor Strange from his solo movie, uh, which I never picked up, um, you know, because... Just, I don't know, just never got into picking it up. But, you know, the thing about figure arts and Marvel Cinematic, there's always going to be another one. Um, the Eye of Agamotto looks pretty good, and you could kind of see the time gem in there. I think that's a great touch. Um, the lighter blue on top of the, you know, the darker blue, it's a nice, you know, attention to detail there. Uh, very nicely done, too. There's a bit of a sculpt in there, so it's not just paint. Uh, the belt looks really good. This is a softer material, uh, or softer rubber, so like you don't have to really worry about, you know, the hard shell getting in the way of posing his legs around. Uh, for the back of the figure, you can see the hinge for the cape, and it's hinge there, and hinge there, and it's annoying, but it's there. Uh, the belt looks good too. 
the fabric, well, the uh, appearance of fabric around his sleeves look really good. And as you see, these are the magic spell hands, really nicely detailed. Um, yeah, I like it. The boots look really good too. Um, and as for articulation, uh, like I said, his head is on a ball peg. I didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Head is on a ball peg, so you can turn all the way around and look down pretty far. Back about that far. Wobble, wobble, side to side, right? His arms can go out about that far. I already showed you the articulation of the cape. There's a butterfly joint in there. His arms can go all the way around if you'd like him to. Um, he does have an, a nice looking elbow joint that goes in about that far. Hinge wrists, so you don't have to worry about any of the you know, lack of rotation for Doctor Strange doing his uh, magic spells. He does have a decent ab crunch. Goes back about that far and goes side to side. And, you know, do that waist swivel thing. I like the belt as a separate piece so you don't have to worry. Um, it's not going to hinder anything. Kicks out about that far, back about that far, double jointed knees, uh, the top of the thigh is also uh, rotatable there, and my feet like to pop off for whatever reason, but there is some sort of ankle pivot in there, um, and he does have toe articulation. Uh, if your figure art figure falls apart, don't worry about it, um, you know, they pop apart, it, it, it's a thing, you know. Uh, I was worried about my foot on uh, this figure, but um, yeah, it's not a big deal. And nothing a little bit of like, you know, hot water, cold water, or like a little bit of, you know, nail polish or whatever you can't fix down the line. Um, so yeah, that is his articulation and the detail stuff. Uh, now let me show you um, a closer look at the accessories. So, if we're going to have Doctor Strange uh, in the background here, let's do the portal, huh? So, like I said before, there's this um, plastic film that's on the thing. Uh, I thought mine had damage. I didn't realize that. That peels off. So, let's take that off. And I think it looks good. You know, does have that nice portal effect. And then, like I said, you do get these little... Uh, clasps uh, down there. Clasps, you know, hard word to say, especially when you had uh, Doritos. So part of me, um, yeah. So basically, let's get the portal in the background there, and let's get Strange right by the portal there. So you see, it does give that really cool effect, you know. And uh, I mean. You know what I would love while I'm talking about Doctor Strange? Could we get a Wong? Could we get a figure arts Wong? Because he's like the best side character. Um, especially if you guys seen Infinity War. Uh, and he was amazing in Doctor Strange. But yeah. So you do get the portal. And you do get three magic spells. These also have a film on them. So just peel that off like so. And, you know, another one, and of course, the third one. So, these are the magic spells. I forget which does what. Um, this is the time thing. That I remember, actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. But I don't remember what this one, and I always clip my nails right before, and it, uh, a review. I don't know why I do that. But yeah. Um, forget off the top of my head. They are the same though. And um, what's really cool. Is, let me show you the hands. So you do get hands that can do the spell. And they kind of just plug in. Like so. And I think that's pretty cool. And it holds on really well too. Oh, well, Probably holds on better with the uh, figure in you know, but yeah, I think it's all right. Um, and then same with the uh, the time stone. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. So that is, um, you know, the spells and stuff. But here's a closer look at the hand. Uh, try to get the better. 
have my camera a couple of months, you'd think I'd know how to use it better. Um, so yeah, I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Um, I think that looks good. I do like the detailing, you know. Um, one thing I kind of wish they added were like the scars on the fingers. Because if you guys seen Doctor Strange, you know why he has the scars on his fingers and the whole, you know, magic thing. And, you know, go see the movie if you haven't already. Well, Doctor Strange is on Netflix. Um, but yeah. So you also get, so you get two of those, right? Um, you do get, here are the default fists that come standard on every figure art. Looks pretty good. Um, you do get a set of open hands, like really relaxed hands. Uh, you do get a pair of just less open hands. You do get some. Sort of spellish karate chop hands. And then uh, you do get the alternate head. And there's really not much difference. It's just him with like an expression. Um, and I think the eyebrows are a little different. But some nice salt and pepper around the side and the back. I think that looks pretty good. And then when you want to swap out pieces, you know, of course put the expression head on, pop off, and pop that guy on, and yeah, there it is. And then for the spell, um, you could either do um, right, let me take that hand. Right, so for the spell you could either you now have them that way and the other cool thing is you could take the spell and put it around the wrist too I think that's a really cool idea right. so yeah you can do that too and that looks really cool him doing all like his you know, magic and stuff. Um, there we go. I like the figure. I, I really do. I'm highly impressed. Figure arts, they, they always nail it. Um, I try to collect all the MCU stuff from them. That, that seems to be the biggest collection, uh, you know, out of my figure art figures. I have a lot of figure art figures between like Dragon Ball and stuff, but like this is, you know, like MCU is more like my thing. Um, which there's a lot coming out too. You guys seen that Thanos? Oof. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it on this video. Um, you know, it's a great figure. Uh, I really like it. I, I thought, Avengers was absolutely mind-blowing amazing uh, and congrats to them huh it's already over a billion dollars the movie was out it, it reached a billion dollars 11 days into being open that that's a record um but yeah that's movie was totally good uh, so like I said I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys uh, go see the movie and um, definitely watch Doctor Strange if you haven't um, it's on Netflix um, I will tell you this uh, I am starting a new segment on my channel. Um, I have a lot of figures that have been reviewed by other people that I haven't gotten a chance to review myself. And, um, like there's a couple of Rebel Techs, there's a couple of Mezcos, you know, all the things that you'd like to see me review on this channel. And, um, I have been super busy with life stuff and I kind of never really got a chance to record them uh you know and then other things came out which I did get to review 
And um, so, yeah, I'm starting this new segment, and I think it's going to be called something like Late to the Party. Because it's true. Other people have had the figures out, you know, their reviews out for a while now, and I'm late to the party, so I think it kind of fits. What do you think? Let me know. Comment in the bottom, and uh, we'll try to come up with a better title. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I am going to start doing front face vlogs, uh, soon. I just gotta, you know, figure out how I want to do that and, you know, set it all up. Uh, I am going to tell you guys this. So, with, with my videos, um, I have tweaked and, you know, done different things for different videos over the course of the few years that I've been doing this. Um... So the one thing that I thought about, which I'm going to add again, uh, is a rating system. So if you guys used to watch the Inner City Geeks videos, um, there used to be the, um, the hashtag geek approved rating system. But since that no longer is a thing, we're going to do the EA Toys Plus rating system. And I say I'm going to give this figure... I'm going to say like a four and a half out of five, and that is because the cape. Figure Arts, if you guys are watching, please, we beg you, cloth capes. You know, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You could, of course, find this video on my YouTube channel, Yay Toys Plus. Uh, I will try to post it on the Inner City Geeks website as soon as I can. I have a lot that needs to go up that way. Um, I'm going to be starting my own, uh, website within the next couple of months, so, like, I'm still toying around with ideas there. And, uh, you know, you can, of course, follow me on social media. I'm both Bri2J on Twitter and Instagram, B-R-I underscore 2J. And, of course, you can follow the channel at Yay Toys Plus on Instagram. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm gonna do my best to pump out more stuff uh i like i said new segment um i got other stuff coming i'm sure and uh well that's about it for me and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out